Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel Valley Anivesh. In today's video, we will be discussing one of the most important financial metric called enterprise value. As an investor or someone interested in understanding a company's worth, it's crucial to go beyond just market capitalization. EV provides a more comprehensive measure of a company's value, taking into account its debt and cash holdings. This video will give you important information so please watch video till the end. Before we start today's video, we kindly request you to support our channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and colleagues who might find it useful. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and remember to activate all notifications so you never miss any of our valuable content. What is the enterprise value? Enterprise value is a financial metric that represents the total value of a company. It considers not only the market capitalization but also the total debt and cash and cash equivalents of a company. This makes it a more holistic measure of a company's worth compared to just looking at its market capitalization. Let us understand how to calculate enterprise value using its formula and we will see a simple example. The formula to calculate enterprise value is, EV equals market capitalization plus total debt minus cash and cash equivalents. Let's us understand each part of the formula. First is market capitalization is calculated by multiplying the total number of outstanding shares of a company by the current market price per share. Total debt includes both long-term and short-term debts. Cash and cash equivalents include cash in hand, bank accounts, and marketable securities. Let's take an example to illustrate enterprise value. Consider a company with a market capitalization of rupees 500 crore, total debt of rupees 100 crore, and cash and cash equivalents of rupees 50 crore. The enterprise value would be 500 crore plus 100 crore minus 50 crore, which will be 550 crore rupees. How to interpret enterprise value? Enterprise value, EV, is used to assess the total value of a company from the perspective of an acquirer or an investor. A higher EV indicates a higher valuation, while a lower EV suggests a lower valuation. Generally, a lower EV may be considered more attractive as it implies that the company may be undervalued. How is the enterprise value manipulated by companies? Companies can manipulate enterprise value, EV, through various means. They can take on excessive debt or reduce debt levels to artificially inflate or deflate the EV. They can also manipulate cash and cash equivalents by inflating or deflating reported cash balances. Additionally, companies can inflate or deflate market capitalization through share buybacks or issuing new shares. As investors, it's important to be cautious and thoroughly analyze a company's financial statements to ensure that the EV is not being manipulated. To summarize, Enterprise Value EV, is a comprehensive measure of a company's worth that takes into consideration its market capitalization, total debt, and cash and cash equivalents. It is calculated using the formula EV equals market capitalization plus total debt, cash and cash equivalents. Investors should interpret the EV in the context of other financial metrics and be aware of potential manipulation by companies. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with your friends. And once again, please subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.